Hello everyone. Today we'll discuss about analogy. Introduction. Now analogy means similarity. Now in this type of questions there are two pairs, question pair and answer pair. You have to see the relationship between the elements of question pair and the answer pair. That is you have to establish the relationship between the elements of question pair with the answer pair, right? For example, selfish and compassion. Now, selfish and compassion, okay? This is the question pair, okay? Now, always the analogy questions you'll find with the colon, okay? Now, the question pair is childish and question mark is there. So, you have to fill the question mark. So, now, someone, now how you fill the question mark? You'll have to understand the relationship between the pair that is, you have to understand the relationship of the question pair, right? So, now the question pair says, someone who is selfish lacks compassion, right? Similarly, someone who is childish or kiddish lacks maturity. So, the answer will be maturity, correct? This is the way the analogy works. Now, significance. Now, this is the important topic because it helps the candidate to think critically. This is an important topic. It is asked almost in all the exams, be it CAT, MAT, ZAT, FMS, CT, SNAP, Narsa Munji. In all these exams, you will find two or three questions on analogy. Now coming to the tips. That is how to solve analogy questions. Now to answer an analogy question, you must formulate the relationship between the words in the given question pair and then select the answer containing words related to one another in most nearly the same way. The best strategy to answer an analogy question correctly is the candidate or the student has to form a logical relationship or bridge between the two words. They must think about how the words are related, try to make sentences with the question pair. It will help you to recognize the answer pair. Okay. Now, let's do another example. For example, socks and feet. This is the question pair. Now, you have gloves. Question mark is given. Now, you have to fill the question mark. Now, you can relate this like you try and bridge between the words. Okay. Now, how you will do this? Try to make sentences with the pairs. You can say the sentence as socks is to feet. Similarly, gloves is to hands. Right? You can say since socks are worn in the feet, hence the gloves are worn in the hand. So the question mark will be replaced by hands. So, you can just relate the analogy pairs with the sentences. Then it will be easy to answer the questions. Okay. Now, coming to the format. In this different kind of pattern is asked. This pattern is very common. In each of the following questions, there is a certain relationship between two given words. On one side of colon and on one word is given on another side of the colon. While another word is to be found from the given alternatives. Having the same relationship with this word as the words of the given pair there. So, choose the correct alternative. So, basically, this is the kind of format which is generally followed. But in this topic, I try and cover different types of uh, analogy questions like alphabet analogy, this detecting the analogous pair, completing the analogous pair, multiple analogy. So, I have taken two, three, four examples of each and every type of questions asked in the exams, okay?